Fentanyl is no longer an underground crisis. A new method of combating it has gone underground, literally, through sewers. Communities around the country are now exploring how sewage testing can help track where fentanyl and other substance use is surging. Alexandria Hoff explains. From the depths of a less than fresh scented tank, a snapshot of public health is collected. In Newcastle County, Delaware, samples of raw sewage are pulled every 24 hours and sent to a lab for what is essentially a community drug test. Instead of one person, you're testing 2,500 people. Untreated waste reveals where harmful drugs like fentanyl are being used and at what rate. The data is even capable of detecting when other substances have been laced with fentanyl. They're flushing it down a toilet uh, and then eventually as that sort of supply starts working its way through the community, you then over the next week start to see the opioid overdoses manifest because people are consuming fentanyl that they weren't intending to consume. The testing company BioBot Analytics gained steam during the pandemic, tracking rates of COVID-19. Last year, the company's focus returned to the opioid crisis. This technology not only analyzes concentration levels, but also metabolites, meaning it can tell the difference between a substance that has been ingested and something that's perhaps been discarded into wastewater. The testing is not used for law enforcement, but it does show police where prevention tools need to be deployed. Where are we catching them with the drugs? That's not necessarily where it's being used. So really this gives us kind of a nexus to where it's being used and being able to outreach the idea is catching on elsewhere. Virginia's health department is also set to begin a statewide wastewater testing plan. I think it's a no-brainer. Newcastle County Executive Matt Meyer predicts that this testing will help residents realize that fentanyl is every neighborhood's problem. It takes some of the biases out. In Newcastle County, Delaware, Alexandria Hoff, Fox News.